Welcome to the Better Life Podcast. I'm April. Glad you're here today. I want to talk today about something that I think we all need to quit. Yes, I'm talking about quitting. (laughs) You know, I'm a big fan, a big cheerleader for not giving up and to keep on keeping on. I'm also big on quitting things in your life and my life that might be holding us back, keeping us from living that better life. I believe there are many things we need to quit. And today I want to talk to you about this, quitting the blame game. You know what I'm talking about. We all know those types of people that blame everyone else for their problems. They blame their parents for the way they are, their upbringing, their job, their spouse, their kids, their teacher. They point the finger at everyone and never at themselves. Now, I'm sure that's not you that's watching today. Really, at some point in our lives, we've all been guilty blaming others for things we really should have taken ownership of. I mean, you can go way back to the Bible days. Adam told God, Eve made me do it. He pointed the finger. And Eve told God, the devil made me do it. (laughs) Some people create their own storms and then they get upset when it rains. Excuse making, blame placing are built into our DNA. It started in the Garden of Eden. And until you get beyond them, we're not going to make true progress or find real happiness. Blaming others is no way to live a happy life. When we blame, we are putting ourselves in the seat of the victim. And when you see yourselves as a victim, instead of working towards a remedy, a solution, we put all of our energy toward the problem. Blaming others takes all the energy away from improving ourselves. Now, y'all, that was good. I'm going to say it again. Blaming others takes all the energy away from working on ourselves and improving ourselves to live a better life. It keeps our focus outward when it really should be us looking inward. You know, you never look good trying to make someone else look bad. And as long as you're blaming someone else, your life will never change. We have to get out of the victim mentality. Because when you blame, you're in essence saying, I'm the victim, I've been done wrong, it's not my fault, everyone else is the problem. See, sometimes we don't think of a victim mentality like that. But when you're not taking on you know, responsibility, you're in essence saying, I'm the victim. If you stay and live in the mindset of a victim, you will live the life of a victim. Now, that's not very deep, but it's very profound. You can't be a victim and expect to thrive in life. Man, that is so good. The moment you accept responsibility for your life and your actions, your problems, your shortcomings, your situation, that's the moment your life can begin to change and your life will get better. We all have to take responsibility. See, it begins with you. Not your parents, not your spouse, not your friends, not your, it's not your family's responsibility. You are responsible for every decision you make. Now, you may be saying, but I didn't come from a good family. You know, it, it was just chaos. It was major dysfunction in my house. It may have been, but you are responsible for you today. See, we are in control of our lives And sure, God has the ultimate say, but we have to take responsibility for how we deal with what we go through and how we live our everyday lives. When you blame others, it's almost like you are counting or like you're counting on them to fix your situation. The truth is you can't expect others to fix your mindset. Oh man, I hope you're getting that. Everything in your life is because of a choice you've made, because of a choice I've made. If we want a different outcome, we have to begin to make different choices. We have to choose to stop dwelling on the difficulty. We have to choose to stop magnifying the problem. We have to choose to stop pointing the finger at everyone else. We have to choose to stop acting like a victim and start taking responsibility for ourselves. We have to stop looking out the window and begin looking in the mirror. What I have discovered is People who continually blame everyone else for their current problems and situations are eventually going to run out of people to blame. Life is too short to point fingers. Let's take ownership of ourselves. Let's start to look from within. 
because every next level of our life will require a different me and a different you. I'll tell you a story that I've told on uh, this podcast before. It was about a time in my life when I had bumps on my right hand and my middle finger. Didn't know what it was. Was walking with my mom mom one day. I had covered it with a Band-Aid. She asked me what it was. I uncovered it and she said, ooh, those are warts. (laughs) I didn't want to have warts. I'm supposed to be warrior chick, not wart chick. Y'all, I came home from Houston. I put every kind of ointment on those warts. Every I prayed over them. I put everything that I could think of. I read about it. And instead of them going away, I promise you, they multiplied. Long story short, there was 20 plus warts on my one finger. I know that's completely gross. I'm grossed out myself. They spread to my left hand, and they even spread to my leg, which I didn't even think they could go there. I had prayed, I had anointed them with oil, I had done everything I knew to do. One day in our church, Marilyn Hickey was there, and right in the middle of her message, my daughter and I were sitting again on the front row, she just comes, she, she kind of stops her message and kind of leans on the podium, and she said, you know, God has really given me an anointing to pray for people with tumors and warts. <laughs> she said, I want right now, if you have a tumor or a wart, I want you to stand up and I want to pray over you. I thought, that is so me, and I'm so not standing up. I wasn't about to let people know that I was filled with warts. And she just kept saying, you know, if it's you, stand up. I want to pray. And everything within me was saying, April, stand up. I thought, I've tried everything. I've got to stand up. I stood up. I felt so embarrassed. I felt like spotlights were on me that said, wart, you know, wart woman right there. And, you know, I was hoping people thought I had tumors. I mean, what in the world is going on with that? Marilyn continued to talk. I thought, God, just let her pray. She finally started to pray. Before she prayed, she said, I want you to touch the part of your body that's affected, and I want to pray. I thought, where is not affected? So I kind of leaned down, acted like I was scratching my leg. She prayed. I sat down. I was never so glad to sit down in all of my life. My daughter leaned over and said, well, that was embarrassing. I thought, thank you for your support. (laughs) I wish I could tell you that the next day, the words were gone. They weren't. The next week, they weren't gone. The next month, they weren't gone. And finally, I just got a little upset, and I got frustrated, and I said, God, what is going on? I said, I've prayed. My mom's prayed. I've anointed them with oil. Marilyn Hickey prayed. God, what in the world is going on? I don't know if you've ever been corrected by God, but I was. I heard God say to me in my heart of hearts, April, How do you expect to help other people when you don't even have the guts to admit you need help yourself? Man, I was knocked down to the place I needed to be. See, God needed to do a work on the inside of me. He needed to take that pride out of me, that know-it-all spirit out of me, that sense of trying to show everybody that I didn't have flaws, I didn't have problems, I, I didn't have miracles that I needed answered by God. And I just told God, I'm sorry. And I I just kind of, you know, laid it all out before God. And I promise you within a month or two, all of those warts were gone. Now, I wish they would have gone right away, but they didn't. But see, what God wanted to do was a work on the inside of me. I want to encourage you today to ask God to show you the work that he's trying to do on the inside of you. Be open to him doing a new work in you, and then watch how he can use what you've gone through to help others around you. Lord, let me know what I needed to change in me. I needed help to stop pointing fingers, and I needed God to show up in my life and help me get out of this victim mentality, this this, um, non-flawed mentality, and just meet me at the place that I needed to be. See, we can't fix what we won't face. There's freedom in getting to the bottom of yourself and being truthful with yourself. You're responsible for how you feel, how you think, how you speak, how you react, and how you do life. We've got to own our choices. We've got to start making better choices because our choices determine our direction in life. Dr. Henry Cloud said, our choices determine our direction in life. But if we do not own this fact, we don't know where we're going. And we resent where we end up as if it were someone else's fault. Oh, that's good. In other words, our decisions today determine our destiny. When we take ownership to fix things in our life, 
we take power over that situation. Taking responsibility opens the door for a better life. We can't keep expecting someone else to make our lives better. We can't put the key to happiness in someone else's pocket. You are entirely up to you. Not only you can stop you. Only you can make the decision to get out of a victim mentality or not. Only you can stop blaming others. So stop saying you can't. You can. Stop getting stuck in a moment. It's a new day. Begin today. Stop putting your emotions onto other people's shoulders. When you stop blaming, you get your power back. Power to change you, power to change the situation, the circumstance, power to change your life. You are not a victim of your circumstances. You're a product of your decisions. When you don't do anything to change your life, you're making the decision to not change your life. No decision is a decision. The good news is this. You are one decision away from a totally different life. If you want a different result, make a different choice. The smallest decision can change your life. So make the decision today toward a better life, a better mindset, a better attitude. Remember, unsuccessful people make decisions based on their current situation, but successful people make decisions on where they want to be. Let me ask you today, where do you want to be? Do you want to be free from a victim mentality? Do you want to be happy? Do you want your life to be better, not just for you, but for your family? Then today is the day to take control of you. You can rise up from anything. You are not stuck. Don't settle soar. Don't complain, adjust. Don't blame, take ownership. Don't wallow in pity. Stand up and become a better you. No more sob stories, only success stories. Give yourself a chance to live a life of freedom. Let go of being a victim. Stop blaming and step into who you're really meant to be. You are made for greater things. Become the change that you need for a better life. A Chinese proverb says this, He who blames others has a long way to go on his or her journey. He who blames himself is halfway there. He who blames no one has arrived. You may not be able to change the past, but you are one decision away from changing your destiny. Stop stopping yourself. You got this. I believe in you. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'd love for you to do that today. Don't forget, tickets for Better Life Night are on sale now. It's coming up March the 3rd, 2023, Arlington, Texas at the Arlington Music Hall. We have an early bird special going on right now, and I'd love to have you be a part. It's going to be a great night. Go to aprilsimmons.com to find out more information. Until this time next week, I hope you have an amazing day.